and that is just an absolute beast stoked with that that's awesome Good morning everybody, welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We're on the Murray, today we're going crankbaiting. So we've got the Dino 90 rigged up. Um, really like that size bait because you've got just as much chance of catching a whopping big cod as you do whacking the yellows. So you know, if you are only just starting on your river fishing, a bait like that's really good because it keeps your confidence up because you're catching yellows, but then you have a really good chance of getting that big cod. So I'm gonna go cast heaps of timber like we always do. Let's go. So a couple little upgrades to the bait. You notice the painted bib. I love a painted bib with the Dino 90s. Um, I've also, because they're supposed to have a rattle, but sometimes the rattle's not that great. I've actually drilled a hole in the side there um, and put, a, I think maybe two pieces of shotgun shot and then solarized over the hole that you can hear. It's got quite a good rattle. I like that old school gold color me some really nice fish. Always try and approach the snags um, quietly too. I never go roaring up to a spot if I, like this sort of area where, you know, you've got one big prime snag and then there's like a bit of a run between the next one. Um, I, I stop the petrol motor, you know, probably 300 meters away from where I'm going to fish just so I can silently cruise up on the electric and the first sort of real noise that the fish hears is the sound of the lure plopping on the water. First hit for the morning. It was a weird hit too. It was just like a single, single whop. Hmm. Don't know what that was. It's a weird bite. Nice yellow though. <laughs> Literally ate it and it did absolutely nothing. Well, we're on the board, which is really cool. Stoked with that. Nice one on the dino. Check him out. Oh, cool yellow. As long as he doesn't smash me. And that is a good reason about using something like the dyno, is you do pick up a lot more yellows. So we're on the board for the day. It's really cool. It's actually a really nice fish. I might keep this one for pop, I reckon. So, stoked with that. That's really cool. That's a better one. Oof. On again. That didn't take very long at all. That's a nice fish. Get out. 
hold him tight. Check out that one. Straight on again. That was only like five casts after the last one. Very cool. Stretch your body out, man. I don't know why they get all bendy like that. But anyway, nice fish. Definitely keeps the day more interesting, whacking a few yellows. I love, you know, doing that big lure specific, big cod um, sort of fishing, but it is super nice to be able to combine the two and with these sort of smaller type crankbaits. Well, not that the Dino 90s a small crankbait, but you know, the ones that are easy to use, they're good for both styles of fish, very fun to fish because you're gonna catch all the fish that are available to you on the day. Always check those hooks are sharp. I do that a lot throughout my days fishing, is just give those trebles a bit of a touch and see if they're all good. Because the last thing you want is to have uh, a dull point from you know getting on a bit of rock or something like that. And when you finally do get a bite from a big fish, it's on the one hook that's got a blunt point. So make sure them hooks are really sharp it's funny i always get asked which logs are worth casting and every log's worth a cast doesn't matter which log it is and where it is it's always worth a cast Man, I'm smashing, smashing the yellows. <laughs> no complaints here. That is a absolute chunk of a yellow. That is a stunner. Whoa, stoked, stoked with that one. That is a tank. Whoa, look at the size of that thing. He is an absolute pig. Look at that for an absolute chunk of a yellow. I've always actually thought that the Dino 90s are one of the best big yellow lures. And that is just an absolute beast stoked with that. That's awesome. And this one's a big breeding one, so I'm gonna put him back. There he goes. That was a really good bite. Just been peppering this one log for a little bit now. I probably only maybe six or seven casts. Just had a nice solid dunk. I'm not quite sure what it was. Definitely worth another cast though. Right in there. Another yellow. Good day. <laughs> Another cracker. They've all actually been really nice, clean fish. This one's got like a little bit of scunge on his tail, but still. Beautiful, clean yellow belly. Here we 
go. Another cracking yellow. Check out the condition on him. Pretty good day. Four really nice yellows so far. Had a couple other bites, so it's all going really well. Great day to be out on the river. I've always sort of thought that the um, bigger river, like the lower end of the Murray, fishes better when it's calm and the weather's, weather's beautiful. I think partly the reason for that is that you get to fish everywhere you want to fish. So any good log, you get to hold out the front of it in that prime zone. Um, and although you can't always pick um, those real calm days to fish, I do think that calm weather is just, it's more efficient. Your lures spend more time where they should. Your casting's better. Everything's easier. So I do like me a nice calm day to catch fish. It's one huge thing that I'm big on is not pulsing the electric into the snag that I'm fishing. I think the cod really hate it. So I always try and manage it so that I don't send a pulse of water into the snag because I'm sure they can feel it. It's about one o'clock so it's about time to start moving back towards the car but I'm going to refish all the good spots on the way back and that's it's a really good idea because sometimes I think the fish have a chance to think about it um, and the second time through they don't want to miss out again and then other times I think that the fish they move around the snags a lot and they may not have been set up in position where you were casting so when you go back through the second time they may be sitting um, where your lure is going to pass through and you have a lot better chance of catching them. Just swapped over to the blue, black, purple and orange lure again with that painted bib. There was a someone last year watched one of the videos and then got one of these and painted the bib and then I think it was trolling but anyway I've never seen a lure so monstered straightened all the hooks out on it. So we'll see if we can't do the same except maybe land the fish. Second time through, slammed by a yellow. Oh, here's a nice one. Can catch yellows. Not complaining, not complaining at all about that. All right, well there he is. It's number five. They've all been beautiful conditioned yellows today. Not a spot on them. It's been really nice. Always stoked to get five fish for the day. It's been a really good day. So that's the first of the good spots we're working back through. We'll see what happens on the next few. That was a big cod. Such a good bite. Oh. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Why didn't that stay connected? Oh. 
Now I'm on a leaf. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Such a good bite. Oh. Maybe. Might come back. Had to get a cod bite eventually. Such a good bite. Mm. Damn. So that's the difference. I just had a really, really good cod bite and it didn't stick. So I worked very hard all day to get that bite and that's just the way that it goes. Sometimes they stick, sometimes they don't. It's pretty unfortunate. that is it for today i'd like to thank you all for watching i really appreciate the support for the channel um had a great day good good bag of yellows missed a big cod and that's like i said that's just the way that it goes sometimes but i will be back if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it's hugely appreciated if you enjoyed the video make sure you like it and leave a comment and i will catch you next time